I love to see new clubs rise into the SPFL and as a outsider I've um, been quite vocal about my thoughts on how strict the Scottish pyramid system is in that there isn't a huge amount of promotion and relegation out of the SPFL itself. Yes the worst team of the entire structure, the bottom team, the team that finishes bottom of League 2 every season is the only one who doesn't get automatic relegation. Work that out. And it's only been the past eight or nine years that um, you could get relegated out of the SPFL and that's even through a series of playoffs as well. Before that, it was a closed-off pyramid system, if you will, a, uh, a Scottish Super League of, um, of teams that could never, ever get relegated, and that culminated in the team called East Stirlingshire finishing bottom for like five or six years in a row. Brecon recently just finished bottom for two years in a row before getting relegated themselves. However, yes, it was opened up and it still does entail a series of playoffs to get up. But the first team to take advantage of the playoffs and rise up into the SPFL were Edinburgh City. That was in 2016 and they beat SPFL League Two whipping boys East Stirlingshire. They beat them and they've been in League Two ever since. And they finished second in League Two last season and only narrowly missed out on promotion. Edinburgh City FC are a club that are on the rise and I'll be checking out their new stadium today but I'm starting my video here look you can see I'm uh, just in the gold mouth here at Spartans which is where they share the ground with just now Spartans are the home team Edinburgh City share it and they have done for a little while now but they will be moving into their own home very soon called Meadowbank we're gonna be checking that place out I've just made a video here at Spartans so what better place to start my video about Edinburgh City than the ground where they share with Spartans but yeah look what a club I'm gonna go and check out uh, uh, Edinburgh City's new stadium. I'll tell you a little bit more about them and yeah, hope you enjoyed this video. Remember to hit that like button, subscribe if you're new. Thank you very much. Currently exploring the uh, streets of Edinburgh. I think that's it there, you know. I'm pretty sure that is the new stadium. Look at Arthur's seat up there. Wow. Edinburgh, what a beautiful city. I love the feel of Glasgow, but I don't think uh, many cities in the UK look quite like Edinburgh does, especially on a nice sunny day like this. I'm not sure if you'll be able to make it out, but just through there is Arthur's seat. It's like, it's a, like surrounded by these hills and mountains and stuff. I've been filming another video today down at Spartans, of course. Um, that's where I filmed the intro for this video. And uh, yeah, I think that's Meadowbank just there, which will be the home of Edinburgh City. Amazing to see a new club like Edinburgh City. And I say new, um, they've been around for a while. Um, but a new club like Edinburgh City, too new to the SPFL, um, getting a ground of their own. Of course, they're sharing at the moment. There's quite a lot of clubs that share or don't have their own facilities. But the fact that they're moving into their own purpose-built stadium is um, something they should be incredibly proud of. And uh, when they do, I think it's going to be about October, November. About to check it out, of course. Um, but yeah, when they do, and for their current ground at Ainsley Park with Spartans, if you want to go and watch them play, then go to the first link in the description box below and check out Fanbase. You, if, you have, uh, if you're a regular viewer of my channel, you'd have heard me talk about Fanbase in the Highlands and in my Spartans video and Kelty Hearts and a few other like Lowland League vids that I've made and like lower league Scottish football um, videos that I've made. They are a new ticketing service within Scotland that make it seamless for fans to buy tickets for games all up and down the country at different teams. And if you want to go ground hopping and see a lot of the grounds that I've been to and watch games there, then all you got to do is download Fanbase. They make it so easy. They make it safe for the clubs as well. They bring in revenue from the, for the clubs. There's floodlights up there. There's floodlights. There's floodlights. Download Fanbase and you can go and see floodlights of your own. Um, yeah, follow them on Twitter as well because they'll be announcing new clubs. And when I saw they announced Edinburgh City, I was like, that's a big club. They do have big teams on there. But Edinburgh City are a team that are really, really going places. And uh, yeah, finished second in League Two last season. Almost got up into League One. And I can see them doing really well. Ah, oh, you can see a bit of the pitch through there. But um, yeah, download Fanbase, quality app, run by Scottish guys. Yes, look. Look through there, that is the pitch. The brand new pitch of Meadowbank Stadium. Unbelievable. Oh, great to see, they just love it. Ground hopping. Wow, and here it is, look. This looks brilliant. Last time I came, there was huge boards up here and you couldn't see past, but look, they've got the Meadowbank up there and that is apparently, um, the same writing that they use for the old Meadowbank. This was an old stadium that I think they've repurposed into this newer, more modern one now. And it looks like it's coming along great guns from when I was last here, but there's still a good bit of work to do. Um, I spoke to the club today and they did say that they were hoping to move in in around October, maybe November time. So yeah, I think it's been pushed back once or twice already. Yeah, look at that, Meadowbank. Wow, this looks class. I can't wait for this place to open. And I've just asked security if I can go in. I wouldn't recommend this to everyone. I have got in contact with the club. They know I'm coming. Um, yeah, but 
if they can't let me in it is still a building site so i totally understand but yeah look at it it looks absolutely brilliant brand new stadium being built here in edinburgh i couldn't get in just now which um is totally understandable i did just turn up and ask and it was quite short notice when i uh told edinburgh city that i was going to be coming here anyway but yeah we did all we could to try and get in but as you can see look they're uh, sort of working on astro pitches over there will there be training facilities here as well i guess there will be but wow look at this it's a really impressive looking stadium for a club of this size it does say edinburgh council on there so i guess it will be used by a lot of other um yes yeah, sporting organizations as well i suppose um but yeah the club themselves edinburgh city i have made a video on them before the thumbnail is on screen now and if you want to check that video out i will leave a link to it down below as well um where i covered a little bit more of the history they're an interesting club who have been through a number of liquidations name changes stadium moves again another stadium move happening right now before my eyes um so yeah they're an interesting club who uh, did well last season. They came second, yeah, in League Two, only behind Queen's Park, who absolutely ran away with the league. And um, they, yeah, did lose in the playoff final against Dumbarton. So yeah, they could have been playing in League One this season, but they will be in League Two. And League Two looks so strong next season with Edinburgh City, with Kelty Hearts, Stranraer did well last year, and Elgin as well. So many good clubs up there. Um, so yeah, it'll be an interesting season, especially if they can move in here um, as the season progresses, I don't know. I think they'll still be at Spartans for the very start of the season, but yeah, a few months into it, maybe they'll get in here, which would be absolutely great to see. I'll reel off some facts about their current manager, see if you can guess who it is before I reveal. If you don't know already, that is. He used to play for Everton, Sheffield United, and Hearts. He has 46 caps for Scotland. He used to play left back predominantly. Have you guessed who it is yet? Gary Naismith. So that shows the pull of this club. Look, new stadium, Gary Naismith as their manager, former Everton, Hearts, Sheffield United, as, among other clubs as well. So yeah, a real, real club on the rise. And I cannot wait to get inside this place once it's built. Look, they're putting these, uh, there's like little trees up there and stuff. It's gonna look amazing, this place. And you can even begin to see the stuff, like a bit of where the pitch will be in one of the stands behind there. As you can see, look, there is still so much work to be done. Yeah, I think, November's probably a safe bet for when they move in, but you never know when with these things, they always seem to get pushed back. So it could be a little bit later than that. But from what I've been told by the club, it's looking like it's gonna be October slash November that they do move in. Yeah, exciting times lay ahead for this club and other clubs who are in the Lowland League. Look, Edinburgh City are the first team to have made use of the new promotion system into the SPFL. They are now a well-established club in the Scottish Professional Football Leagues. Um, the three teams that have gone out are now Brecon, Berwick and East Stirlingshire. The three that have come up are Edinburgh City first, Cove Rangers second and Kelty Hearts third. Only just recently they're yet to play in the SPFL of course. So yeah, I cannot wait to see what the future holds for this club and clubs like this. It's brilliant to see the development of the infrastructure and the club moving forward with the manager and with really good players as well and doing well last season and unlucky not to get promoted. Do remember to check out Fanbase, they're doing such good work and you can come ground hopping at all these places that I've been visiting over the last year or whatever and it's, um, it's an amazing league, it's an amazing system, this Scottish Football League system, it's not perfect, the pyramid isn't perfect, it's too strict for the smaller clubs to be able to get up but hopefully it opens up soon and yeah do your bit by supporting your local club or supporting smaller clubs do a bit of ground hopping as much as we all want to go and see uh, Celtic and Rangers I know I still want to go and see the old firm teams play and I probably will hopefully go and watch them quite a lot next season if fans are allowed in I do also love to support the smaller clubs that sort of need the exposure and need the ticket sales more than the big ones so yeah do your bit and support them as well go and download fan base follow them on Twitter see if they got your club on there your local club if they don't have your team that you support then I guarantee they have some in the area that you can go and be a part of tons and tons of content to come I'm filming constantly this week i don't know when i'm gonna have time to edit all the videos but um yeah they're gonna come thick and fast thank you so much for watching i'll leave some videos on screen just now for you to keep watching if you could click on one i'd really really appreciate it thank you so much and i'll see you in the next one